live from Club Chris. It's Kid Chris. Tonight's guest is you, America. Call in at 513-813-7979. Now here's Kid Chris. Hi, everybody. I'm actually um, Kid Chris's wife, Lene. And Chris is dropping the kids off at the pool, um, hence taking a shit. So I'm here to take your calls. Um, so hi, how are you? Sorry, I'm a little sick. I've got the laryngitis. But um, anyways, um, if you have anything you want to talk about, like, you know, we can keep it real. We can you know, ask me questions um, and so forth. So... <laughs> Anyways, um, hi, how are you? How is your Thursday evening going? Hope it's going well. Um, oh, we have a call. Let's answer the call. Hold on. Who is that? Hi, caller. Hi, caller. How are you? Hi, Lene. Wow, I never thought we would see you on this program. Hi, how are you? I am fantastic now that I'm talking to you. Oh, Chris definitely did marry up. I heard everybody say that. I never really saw you. But he he <laughs> definitely you. did marry up. Good for him. Thank yeah. you very much. I have one I question for you. That. Yes. It's completely appropriate. Yes. Is it as small as he says it is on the radio? <laughs> um, I'm going have... to need an answer for that, Lene, please. Oh, we, we have two children, so I think it works just fine. But That's not what I asked. But thank you're you you're evading. Call. You're evading. Thanks for <laughs> taking my call, Lene. See you. Thank you. Bye. So yeah, just want to know how your Thursday night is going. Um, how's your week going? How's, you know, everything going in your life? Um, you have any questions for me? Um, I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, I'm waiting for him to come back. He is, you know, in the restroom. So I apologize for him being late. Um, but um, he should be here shortly. So yeah, it's... Um, it's, it's a great Thursday evening here in Cincinnati. Um, the weather is unseasonably warm. It's actually very, it's supposed to be snowing now, but it's not. Hi, oh, Joe Morris says, hi, Lenny. Hi. Hi. Show me your boobs. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Um, oh, okay. Hi. I can't, I can't show you my boobs. <laughs> it's just not appropriate. But um, which kid is your favorite? Both girls are my favorite. Um, we have two girls. We have Grace and Addie. Oh, Ed Labaski, or Labla come back to Atlanta, we need you. I loved being in Atlanta. Um, Atlanta was awesome, and it was close to my family, which is in Texas. So, hi, Joseph. Hi, Mrs. Foley. Hi, Joseph Massel. Um, oh, you guys are so awesome. So, yeah, I'm just um, getting over being sick. I had laryngitis, so anyways. Yes, hi, Eric Escalante. Getting your voice back. I am. I am. I, am. I have the, I keep telling Chris, I'm like, I, you should take advantage of the sexy, raspy voice that I have because it's not going to last very long. So, um, yeah. So, no, Chris is not getting a goat. <laughs> uh, Gennaro Vasquez. He's not getting a goat, but nice try. No goats in our house. We do not live on a farm. So no, that's not that's not gonna happen. But um oh Thomas, shut the fuck up. Why are you so mean to Chris? Thomas, shut up. I am not. He's yeah, no, I'm not mean. Um, but he's not getting a goat, Carlos Viegas. He's not getting a he's not getting a goat. Are you guys gonna call or is it just gonna be me sitting here while Chris takes a shit? I don't know where he is. I'm like, I don't know why it's taking so long. But um, hopefully he'll be here soon. No, he's not. T-L-A-N-D-14. He's not getting a goat. So um, you can stop You can stop messaging now. But thank you so much for your message. Give it outside your... Oh, Danny, you're so cute. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it. Morris. Is that the Joe Morris from um, Budco from Philly? Oh, you want... Yes, I wanted to shave. So I hate his beard. If you all, you know, yes, I, I do. I hate his beard. Um, love him, but hate his beard. And, and he did not have a beard when I was dating him. So, yeah, not not a big fan of the beard. But, um, yeah, 
So anyways, you guys are very, um, you're being very dramatic. He's watching, oh yeah. Oh, oh, we have another call coming in, so let's answer. Hold on one second here. Hi, welcome to the program. What's up, Lenny? How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? This is Joe Morris, if you remember me from Philadelphia. Yes, how are you? Uh, I'm doing awesome. How are you, other than being sick? I'm good. I'm good. I can't. I yeah. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How you liking it out there? Do you miss Philly or no? Um, I you know, Philly was great. Be I honest. Do, I met some great friends in Philly. We weren't there very long, so um, there are other you know. I just eventually you know, Texas is my hometown, so I. But I I did love Philly. We had met a lot of great people, including you. Yes, it was fun. Yes. So what's he doing in there, you think? I don't know. He's dropping <laughs> kids off at the pool. <laughs> I Did no he go idea. in there with any, like, magazines or his iPad or anything? I, I yeah, he, he uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I'm getting kind of concerned. <laughs> Maybe I should check on him. Sure. <laughs> I didn't think it would take that long. That's um, so funny. <laughs> Well, I'll oh. let you fly. I just wanted to say hello. I, oh. uh, the kids are beautiful. Have thank fun. You. I enjoy watching them grow up. Oh, thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. Alrighty. Thanks for calling. Yeah, you too. All okay, right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Um, mustache ride. What is a mustache ride? I have no idea what that is. He's gone full beer. What does that mean? I have no idea. I like Cincinnati a lot. Um, I will say we've been here for almost like about eight years, and um, we it's it's the longest honestly that we've been in any market. We've moved around a lot thanks to him, my husband, and um, you know I like Cincinnati. We've planted some roots. We bought a house finally. We rented for a long time, and he said, you know we're not gonna buy because we lost our ass in Portland, which I know he's talked about, but. Um, we, it's been, it's been really great in here in Cincinnati. We've planted roots. We've made friends. The girls are in school. Um, they have friends. And so, um, we're going to be here for a while. We hope, um, my roots are, my roots are in Texas. His roots are in Syracuse and, um, you know, so in the Northeast area. So I don't know what, what's going to happen with that, but, um, and I'm trying to read, oh my God, there's so many, there's so many, um, comments have you ever had? Have you have you have you ever lady a surprise floater? What does that mean? Have you ever lady a surprise floater for Christophine? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. His mustache tickles your cooter. I don't know what that means. <laughs> have you ha heard you blowing all his money on that house? Yeah. Well, you know it adds value. So, um, Dustin Jones. Uh, yeah. Well, you know I'm I'm adding value, so he's gonna get that back. Not worried about it. You need to, oh, yeah. Anyways, Chris deserves a goat for his hard work. No, he's not getting a goat. We don't live on a farm, so he's not getting a goat. But I appreciate your comment, Omar. Uh, no, no goat, no goat. Jason, no bull, no goat. Not going to happen. Uh, no, God, seriously, what's up with all the comments of the goat? My God, he, yeah. No, he, he is taking a hell of a shit, Brian. Rafferty, my God, yes, he must be taking... Yes, he must be, because he's been there in a while. Um, but yeah, stop with the comments of the goat, because it's not going to happen. Like, seriously, let me explain something to you. I'm glad you're a fan of the show. You listen to the show, you know, you believe what Kid Chris says. He's like, oh yeah, Kid Chris, and he wants a goat. He doesn't want a fucking goat. We don't live on a farm. He doesn't want a goat. We have, a do we have two dogs, a cat. We had two hamsters. They died, thank God, because I was the one that did everything. And, oh, God, we have, another, we have another call coming in. But we're not getting a goat, so stop texting about the goat. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome to the program. Hi, I'm a long-time listener from back in the Sacramento, California days. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Uh, just for everybody to, uh, to know, can you blink twice if you're safe and not being held at gunpoint? Blink twice if I'm safe? Yeah, I can just see you on there talking, and I don't see Chris anywhere. You're safe on there, right? I, I'm, I'm, it's all good. It's all good, then. All right. Yes. Yeah, just uh, let Chris know it's C-Block. 
A what? C Block. He knows me from back in the California days. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. Okay. So I'm supposed to tell him that you said hi in the C Block? Yeah, C Block. Yeah. Okay. We, um, I know him and Thomas and everything back. We, we go back to ways. <laughs> well, I appreciate you calling in. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And uh, I'm glad to hear that he's doing well. He's doing great. Um, he's great. Um, He's spending some time in the restroom, but um, I'm sure he's doing well. But thanks for calling. Oh, he's in the Okay. It'll be a while then. It might be a while. But yeah, thank you so much. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for All right. All right. Bye. Yay. So, yeah. So, what can I answer? So, ask me some questions. What would you like to know that, um, what, what have you always wanted to know that he's, you know, about Kid Chris, about our private life? I might not answer any specific, um, you know, personal questions. He said, Joe Moore, he might be dead. Yes, he might be dead. But um, <laughs> I should probably check. But thank God, you know, I don't know. Um, I think he's okay. I think he's all right. Um, so anyways, what would you like to ask me? Give me a call. I don't know what the number is. I guess you know the number. I have no idea I would give it out, but I, oh, 513-813-7979 is the number. God, here's here's another call. Okay, let's see. Hi, welcome to the program. Hi. I know you're, uh, new to the show tonight. I think that's awesome. I've always been watching, watching and listening to Kid Chris for like, of Cincinnati and uh, always wonder what you look like and you look great oh, uh, well, thank very pretty you so much. <laughs> I know they always brag on you and, oh, yeah but uh, I appreciate that I know I listen to some of his old podcasts I always wondered uh, uh, back in the day he said Club Chris he would say he was going to take you to Club Chris back I think it was Atlanta he had the old podcast he put on YouTube uh, was that his jacuzzi is that what he used to call Club Chris Jacuzzi tub. Jacuzzi? Yeah. Was that what he called this jacuzzi tub back in the day, Club Chris? Uh, no. He will not. Chris would never get a jacuzzi or a hot tub. He thinks it's gross. So. That makes sense. I always wonder because I think he, he did something Club Chris a long time ago, but yeah. I like that's his basement now because that's, that's my favorite part of my house, too. Yeah. I love being down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's my hideout. <laughs> I get that. I get it. You have to have a, you have to have time to yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I appreciate you doing this tonight, and we'll talk well, to you later. <laughs> thank you for letting me um, for being patient and letting me come on here. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Um. So, anyways, um, anybody else want to talk to me? <laughs> I'm hoping Chris will come out soon. I'm got, starting to get, get concerned. Maybe I should text him and uh, make sure he's okay, but I, I'm sure he's fine. Um, does he take a shirt off at the pool? No, he wears a shirt. He never takes a shirt off at the pool. He wears a shirt into the pool. So, let's take another call. Hi, welcome to the program. Hi, uh, this is uh, this is Rusty. Who? Uh, uh, this, this is Rusty. Kid Chris knows who I am. Hi. Is he is, is he is he not around? Um, he is in the restroom right now. Oh, uh, Kid Chris is in the restroom. He is. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, he was going to talk to me the other day. He was what? He was wanting to talk to me the other day. What was about your name? His, his, Rusty. Rusty. You know what, Rusty? I will yeah. take. I will take. You know what? I will write this down right now. I've got my pen and paper here, right here. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. write it down. But he's supposed to give you a call. Sure. Okay. What is your number, Rusty? Five one three. Okay. Five zero two. Five zero two. Three six three one. Three six three one. Great. All right. I will have him give you a call. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. Rusty, I'm I'm sorry, but you're probably gonna have a lot of people calling you. Okay, here's another phone call. Four eight four. Hi, welcome to the program. Hello, Lene. Hey. 
I have uh, two questions for you. The first one is, is there anything uh, Chris does really sweet or like, does he ever cook you like a really nice dinner that you really enjoy? No, he doesn't cook. No? No. My other question was, uh, around your house, and you're from Texas, correct? I am. All right. How often do you hillbilly say nigger around the house? <laughs> I don't say that. What? One day I've heard things. No, I don't. But um, come on, you always say nope. you always say things about the undesirable. Nope, nope, sure don't. Have you ever been with a black guy? Once. Well, how yeah. good was it? It was good. Yeah. Was he big? It was. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Can you describe? Can, hold on, I'm getting it out. Can you no, describe the situation? No, but thanks for calling. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm reading all the, the thread here. Uh, yeah, I, I read his number on the air. I hope you call him and he gets lots of calls tonight. Rusty. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, get him a goat. No, Rick, he's not getting a goat. Stop. He's not getting a goat. No, don't believe it. Carlos, don't believe it. Oh, God, we have another, we have another call coming in. Excuse me one second. Let's call. Let's answer the call. Hi, you're on the program. Hi. Um, did Chris ever show you his Peter Cottontail? Yes, I have seen it. Honey, we've been married for 13 years, together for 15, so I think I've seen the Peter Cottontail. Do but... <laughs> uh, you have any pictures of it? I don't. He's so good uh, a... that he won't let you. he won't let you snap pictures. He's like, shows it to you, and then he like, yeah, turns around. So good. That's disappointing. It, I am sorry. I know. I'm sure it is. All right. All right. Well, All right. thanks well, for calling. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. But anyways, um, are you Chris's wife? I am Chris's wife, but it's spelled with a C, not a K. Stephen Kowalki, uh, whatever your name is. Um, anyways, yeah. So, yeah. Um, beard or bald, James? Wow. That's um very that's a very personal question. Um not bald, just saying. I'm not gonna say anything else, but yeah. I don't want to look like a like a ten year old girl, so no, I uh, yeah, no. Um, is he really sweet to you when you're alone? Uh yes, he is very sweet. He is very sweet. He can be. And um yeah, he can be very sweet. Um Okay, so Danny wants to know if Chris is going to call in also. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Derek. Oh, my gosh. You're inappropriate. So, anyways, you're not as bitchy on here. Another, because I'm not. Chris tries to pretend like I'm, like, a total bitch. And he, I know he portrays me as, like, oh, the horrible wife. I'm not. Obviously, you know that's not true. Okay, we have another call coming in. So, let's answer. Let's see. Hi, welcome to the program. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, my name is Larry. Long time, uh, first time caller, long time listener. Well, I wish I had the little clip that he played with like, first time but, caller, long time listener. Uh, Anyways, I can't. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Anyways. Thanks, thanks for that. But uh, yeah. get back to what the other caller, the other caller said about you bagging black guys. Uh -huh. Did you just scream, fuck me, nigger, fuck me, nigger, fuck me, nigger, oh, with that big black eye? That's so not right. I have to hang up on you. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's not right. That's inappropriate. So we're not going to um, entertain that. But I love how, like, they leave little like, goat um, symbols. Oh, we have another caller. If it's, you guys, stop talking about people negatively because I'm not going to entertain these. Hi, welcome to the program. Hey, what's going on? Hi, how are you? I'm good, you? I'm great. Yeah. Yeah. Can you show me your tank? What? Can you show me your tank? <laughs> nope. Well, well, thanks for calling. <laughs> great. This is awesome. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. It's, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so, do, do you keep Chris's change? Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, change in the car? I know. So sorry. Um, 
Guess the Cherry was great. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good show. And I did the promo for that, by the way. Guess the Cherry. That's my voice on there. So just so you know. Um, do you support the current president? Oh, oh, here we have another. Oh, we have another call. Let's take it. Hi. Welcome to the program. Hey. Uh, hey. I had a question. Yes. Did you uh, slip kick Chris a laxative in, in his dinner? No, he's but, been um, in the bathroom for a I while. Know, it's been a while. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. He might be dealing with our girls upstairs, so I'm not sure if something came up. But no, I did not. Daddy duties. I did not slip him a laxative. I promise. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, by the way, um, yes. I'm sure Victory Propane might be a little busy right now. Uh, what was on that? The, uh, on Victory Propane might be a little busy right now. You got the wrong phone number on the uh, headliner on Twitch. You got 7070. I have no idea. I'm not sure. I have no idea. We'll have to take it up with Kid Chris. So. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah, I called. I was like, "Oh, no, this isn't it." So wait, it had, wait, what? What? What number did it have? I had five one three eight one three seven nine seven nine on Twitch. Right. So that's the phone number, and it's not working. Our five one three eight one three seven zero seven zero is on Twitch on the description. Oh, so it should be seven nine seven nine. Correct. Okay, well, I will let him know that motherfucker <laughs> fucked up the phone number. I will let him know. Thank you for thank At you least for that's letting... what I see on my screen. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Have a good night. You have a good night. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. So, anyways, um, so hopefully he'll be coming out here soon. Um, I think he's... <laughs> Hopefully, he's still alive because um, that was. Oh, we have another phone call. Let's let's check the phone. Hold on one second. I feel like. Never mind. Hi, welcome to the program. What's up, girl? What's up? <laughs> oh Lord, where's your man at? <laughs> he's dropping off kids at the pool. At the pool. Yeah. Oh you know what that man. Means? Nah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you now. That means he's taking a shit. Yeah, I got you. I'm sitting here watching the news. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I have I have no idea. But, um, yeah, so I'm just trying to hold it down, hold the fort down, you know, just trying to, um, you You're know, doing, a good, doing a good job. Keep doing it a good real. Job. Well, thank you so much. I have, I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's 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 cool to finally see who you are. I hear you on the radio, and I'm like, "What you look like? I've never seen you." But yeah, you're, you're beautiful. I can't believe oh. Chris is here. Well, you're so I sweet. I cannot believe. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> yep, I'd have never imagined uh, Chris would have been with you. I'm sorry, sorry, Chris. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. Well, thank I'll you do. very much. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm, this is new to me. I've never done this before. This is like the absolute first time in. We've been married for 13 years and together for 15. I've never done this, so I I don't know really what I'm doing, but I'm trying to like um you know um stall until he gets here. So I appreciate it and thank you. I appreciate it. I'm trying, guys. I don't. Know what, <laughs> what i'm doing but i'm trying to work it out so thank you all right i'm having fun watching have a good night okay you too bye-bye <laughs> so uh rig picks i don't even what's a rig is that your boobs i'm not really sure i mean i do have a nice rack i'll be honest i mean i'm not i mean i'm trying i mean i do to be honest like and i breastfed both of my girls for a very long time but I will say they're nice, but I'm not going to show them to you. Okay, we're going to answer. Hi, welcome to the program. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, can you rub it on the phone? Yes. 
Rub it. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah, man, that's hot. I know, it's so good. Bye-bye. Anyways, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's Club Lene. Like, Jim Henry's like, Club Lene. Woohoo! <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. So, what do you guys want to talk about? What do you want to know about me, about Kid Chris? Like, what do you want to know about our marriage, our kids, our life? So, call in. Oh, here's another phone call. Shocking. Hold on one second. Hi, welcome to the program. Hey, how are you? I've been trying to get through the show for weeks now to ask Chris why he didn't show up for the Christmas holiday photos with my family. Oh, I'm not sure. When was that I tweeted to, to him. I what? tweeted to him before the holiday so oh. that he could come and be in our family photo and be in our Christmas card. Oh. And my kids were super pumped. My daughter even had a little egg with jelly beans ready to give to him and he didn't show up. I'm so sorry. He's kind of disappointing at times. You know, you just have to kind of go with it. That's who he is. I learned so, that. Yeah, and it's been how many years for you guys? Has it really been that successful? 13. I mean, should it really continue? 13. <laughs> Actually, I'm celebrating my 12th anniversary today. You are. Yeah. Well, congr- uh, happy anniversary. Well, thank you very much. Um, so, you're doing a great job. Thanks Aww. a lot. Well, thank you very much. I'm I'm trying, and um, again, I apologize. I'm a newbie at this, but um, just trying to, you know, um, stall. And you know, he's taking a while, but um, you know, obviously, I can't get up and go check on him. So, I'm well, just... please ask him what happened. Please what please ask him what happened for the photos, and I'm going to tweet him again next year. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. So, do you invite Thomas over? Yes, Thomas has been to our house multiple times, and his wife, and his kids, and um, we are good friends. And there's a phone call. You guys are so funny. Okay, I'm going to answer. Hi, welcome to the program. I should probably let you know that the title is actually the number to some propane place. The what? The title. What title? Seven, instead of 7979, it says 7070. Oh, I well, calling a propane place. Chris, well, but I see it on here. It says 513 813 7979. Is that now what's showing? Uh, no. I, I guess it's probably my phone or something. I'm not sure. Well, I will have to let him know that he fucked that up. So thank you for pointing that out. Also, I'm sorry. Uh, I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Is your refrigerator running? Oh, you better go get it. <laughs> Dude, I'm married to Kid Chris. Don't you think I've heard every everything in the book by now? There's nothing that you could say that would shock me, honestly. Like, if you think that you have something to say that would shock me, please call because, honestly, nothing that you could say <laughs> is going to shock me. Look who I'm married to, honestly. Which, yes, I'm still trying to figure it out. But um, anyway, we have another call coming in, so let's answer. Hello, welcome to the program. Hey, Wanna. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. I got a question. Yes. Does, uh, Chris always says that you treat him like crap. Is that true? Do you believe that? No, I don't. I don't believe it. No. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Well, you, maybe you should. Maybe show I him should. What it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Just show him what it's like. Yes, I should. Absolutely. No, you know we have our ups and downs, just like everyone. We're a married couple that's been together a long time, and he's a dick. So you know, <laughs> we definitely have our times. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, how yeah. long have you been? How long have you been married? I think it's thirteen years. Um, thirteen. It was. Let's see. Uh, two thousand five. No, no, two thousand seven. Wow. Two thousand seven. Huh. Yeah. It, what is that? Is that thirteen? Anyways, yes, two thousand and seven. Yeah. 
So, yeah. but we dated a couple years before that. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. long time. Yeah, I like how you talk to him on the radio. I, I, I like that. Well, he likes to pretend. He likes to make me out to be a horrible person and um, always like married yeah. to the worst woman in the world. And I think that, well, obviously that's part of the show, but um, he's really not. And I'm glad that, you know, you guys really know that. And um, <laughs> he's probably not going to be happy when he comes out of here and, you know, he sees that he, he finds out what I'm saying. But. Um, yes, we have our ups and downs, and he's a dick. I can be a bitch, and we're all human, and, you know, it's just part of it. So, um, but no, I think um, I put up with a lot of shit from him. <laughs> and, um, I can understand that. Yeah, so, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Kid, kid Chris, you're a dick. I'll he take is care a of dick. Already. He's a dick. You should tell him to be nicer to his wife. <laughs> yeah. You want me to take you out? I will. <laughs> you want me to take you? Well, I appreciate that, but um, I'm married. Mm. That's only the paperwork. It's only the paperwork. Okay. Well, yeah. thanks for calling, and you have a nice evening. I love you. <laughs> Bye. So, um... Um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm, I'm hoping Chris will come down the stairs any moment. He will take over this evening. Raw size. Um, really, do I have to say that? Should I say that? I don't know. I mean, so, like, 36C. Okay, I just said it. Yeah. So, anyways, yes. Yes. Natural. They are. Yes, they are. Okay, we're going to answer this. I mean, I need to get off before I... What? Hi. Hi, welcome to the program. No, I hung up on that person. Um, so yeah. Oh. Hi, are you there? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, since you're with Chris, I assume you like bears. No, I don't like bears. <laughs> He is very hairy, and I'm working on that. I actually got him, a la- he, like we're lasering his back, uh, laser hair removal. You know, he's talked about that. Yeah. So, um, yes, we are, um, we're working on that. He, <laughs> he's very hairy, which is not good. And so, like, he would be considered a bear, I guess, in, you know, um, gentleman's terms. But... Um, I believe he's um, actually finally coming down the stairs now, so thank goodness <laughs> he is here. The one and only Kid Chris. <laughs> 